Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you all how you can add the Revolution slider onto the Divi theme. So I've got a lot of questions about, you know, people asking me, can you add this specific plugin to the Divi theme? And the answer is yes. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can do that. So right here is my settings. So I have a default slider with this little short code, which I'm gonna copy. And I have it to standard slider and I set it to full screen. So right here, I'm gonna go ahead and go to save. And I'm just gonna go to pages and go to add new. You know, I don't know if it's pronounced the slider revolution or revolution slider. Like even on their website, they mix them up. It's kind of weird. So right here, I'm gonna do slider testing. And I'm going to use the Divi Builder. You guys can also use the Visual Builder, but you know, you don't have to, but it'll work either way. So right here, I'm gonna to go to full section. I'm gonna delete this and go to insert module and go to full with code. And so we go ahead and just paste it in there and we are all set. Now you can also go to preview to see if this is working or not. So right here we have the slider and there you go. Now you guys can also use just the regular standard section and you guys can also just set to it to one. And also for the module, you can also use the code one. It'll produce the same results, but it does leave some padding. So you might want to use the purple one. So right here, I'll go ahead and preview it to you. So I'll just to give you guys an example. So right here, it's the same result, guys. It's basically the same thing. Uh, it does leave a little space right here. So you have to like change the padding to zero, but if you don't want that, you can just use the full width one, okay? So that is basically how you add the Revolution slider onto the Divi theme. If you guys have any questions, feel free to let me know in the comments below. All right, I'll see you guys later.